Hello there, this is Eric Elfner from my songbook app. One of my users requested I show how to import songs from this very good Spanish website called lasuerda.net. My Spanish is not good, but I'll do the best I can. Let's pull it up here. Here is the website. Your first job will be to find the song you want to import and I will select this song here and you'll see there'll be different versions of it in there and this one they say is the best so I will select it. What you find here is that the song is in what I call positional formatting and this is how they are displayed in my songbook but they don't have the import format that we need. So to get this into my songbook there's an online tool we can use for this. It's called Uke Geeks. And I will pull that up in another tab here. UkeGeeks.com slash tools. We need to go to the tools directory. And in here they have a formatter that will take this positionally formatted and output it in a format that's much closer to what my songbook needs. You see the chords have been moved from above a letter to just before inside these square brackets. I will go back to lucierda.net and I will select this whole song. I'm running on a Mac but things should be very similar on a Windows machine. I will copy this and delete this out and I'm going to paste it into here and say run formatter. And you see what it's done is taken the positional format and like this E chord is just above the D. So it goes in just before the D. So this is why you have to make sure you've got a song that's formatted pretty well and the chords are in the position that you want them. From this point, we're going to edit this version to make it into my songbook version. To do that, I'm going to use a text editor here on my Mac. And on the Mac, I just use textedit.app. Uh, on Windows, you can just use Notepad. Um, you could use Word. A lot of people want to use Word. It's much more difficult. I do have videos on that you can see on the website. So I'm going to create a new document here. And now I'm going to copy out this reformatted version and I will paste it into this document okay now we have to go from this format into the format that my songbook wants going back to my website uh, you will see um, there's a bunch of different help videos here and I will just reference this uh, not that one uh, importing overview and this shows a specific format that a song needs to be imported into my songbook. The first line needs to be the title, the second line the artist, a blank line. The next line will be the section title and then the lyrics in that section, as many lines as you need, a blank line. That will indicate a new section. We'll look for a section title and then the lyrics and you can follow this along. This is fairly uh, strict format. You can leave out the title and just have a blank line here and it will have an empty title and you'll see that in a minute. So what I'm going to do is go, I'm going to text editor and create this format. Maybe I can put this up. Okay so put a few lines in here. So first thing needs to go in is the title. I'll go back here. Here's the title. I will paste that in up there. The next is the artist. I'll paste that in there. Now these I think are just notes. Again, I do not know Spanish. Notas, I think. Okay, so we'll do that. 
There needs to be a single, so that will be a section. Okay, here's the next section, intro. Now I'm going to remove this extra formatting that they've put in. So a section title and then the and then the immediate lyrics. Again, these are going to show up as chords, so that's fine like that. Um, and so here's a first verse. Okay. And I'm not sure if this is part of the first verse or another verse. Um, I will put this in with two blank lines. So this will indicate a new section and this will be a blank title. And you can reformat this once you get it in my songbook. This is just uh, to do the best uh, initial starting point. A blank line for a new section. I will take these out again. You could leave them in if you wanted them. Again, a blank line for a new section. Let me scroll this up a little bit. Okay, and I will continue. Okay, kind of review. The title, artist, blank line, section title, section lyric, blank line, section title, lyric. And here this one just have chords, that's okay. Section title, lyric with the embedded chords. Oh, I had two blank lines here. Need one blank line. Oh, that was because we have no section title. That's right. Okay, so we'll leave it like that. So this is a blank line, a blank section title, and then here's section title, lyric, section title, lyric, section title, lyric. Okay. Okay, I will save this to a convenient location as a text file, a plain text file. Again, this is where you'll get into trouble if you use Word, but Word can do plain text as well. It just takes some extra steps. Okay. Now, once I have it here, I will email it to myself to an email address I can open on my iOS device, my iPad or, or iPhone. Um, I'll open up my mail app. I will create a new mail. I will send it to myself. I'll just give a title here. And I'll go to where I had saved it. And add this to mail. Different ways to attach in depending on what mail your mail system you're using, but I just drag and drop that in there, and I'm using Mac Mail here. So, all right, I will send that. Okay, now we're going to switch over to the iPhone and view the import from the iPhone side. So here's my phone, and I'm going to switch over to a nice screen view of it. Okay, here is my iOS device, my iPhone, and I will launch Mail, and we will see the email come in with the attachment. I will tap on that. From this email, if you just tap on the attachment, it will show it because it's a text file, and Mail knows how to do that. This is not what we want. So we'll go back. And we'll do a long press, which is to tap lightly on it and hold your finger there for a second. And then this dialog will come up, giving you the option of where to send it. My songbook will show up here if you have my songbook installed on your device. And from here, it will move the file over and give you the option to import it. You can select Import Now. And then the file will come in. And we'll see it down here under the ends. Now we can tap on it. Here's the whole file. And with the chords in there that we can now transpose and respond to capo settings. I hope this helps. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Thanks.